Hey everyone, here's another Whiskey Quickie, and this is a special release one we have, and this is a Jack Daniels Coy Hill High Proof Limited Edition Small Batch. I'm scared. I'm shaking in my boots on this one. This These one. high proof power punchers. And when we say high proof, this is this is seriously high proof. So let's let's talk about this. So during the bottling of the 2021 single barrel special release of the Coy Hill High Proof, there were around 55 barrels that were found that were the angel's share was just way too much. And so they could not bottle them as the part of the original single barrel releases. So instead, what they did is they took all these barrels and they dumped them into this new small batch release. So this is also to create the Jackie Eno small batch special release Koi High Proof. And it has five different unique batches. So starting from lowest to the highest, it's 143.6. 147.3, 149.8, and 155.1. And these are the highest proof whiskeys that Jack Daniels has ever released. It's their typical mash bill of 80% corn, 12% malted barley, and 8% rye. The one we're going to be reviewing today is the 153.2. It is non-age dated. However, it has a retail price of $55.00. In very limited quantities, it can be found in Tennessee and at the Jack Daniels Distillery Rabbit Bottle Shop. But to be honest, we're going to be really hard to probably find these ones. It's got to be the highest bourbon I've ever seen released. I mean, I, I've seen in the 140s, but nothing more than that. I mean, to say that, you know, you have... What is what, what, Hazmat's 144? 140, yeah, 140 and consider, above. Yeah. I mean, this is this is almost gasoline, right? Yeah, this is <laughs> nuclear, like, <laughs> just meltdown. But, I mean, we've had, I think I've had 160 proof bourbon before, but not an actual release. That's right. just like samples from a distillery. This one is up there. Well, let's see. I mean, when you poured it, I was like, is that Coca-Cola? Yeah, I it mean. It looks just like a cola. The color on this thing is something unreal. I mean, it is definitely like soy sauce yep i mean that's the best way to put it all right on to the nose here Ooh. it doesn't smell hot like there's not much for as high proof i thought it'd just be like an ethanol bomb but it's very rich it it's is got and that's what those cola notes cherry cola it, um, it kind of reminds me of the old forester 117 the high angel share one where it's just like it's super dense like there's just so yeah. many compact flavors in that nose Tons yeah, of and oak and just maybe even like a little bit of like a dusty quality to it as well. Yeah. And then you get those like, it's subtly there, but you still get like those like runt notes you, mm -hmm. you get with Jack Daniels. Um, those like fruity kind of candy flavors or whatever. Yes, so I agree. But it smells great. I mean, you know where I'm going to rate this one on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Give that one away. <laughs> yeah. On to the taste here. It doesn't taste like a Dusty, that's no. for sure. Well, no Dusties have this much uh, punch to them. Man, you're right. But, you, maybe you said runts, and now I just really picture taking a handful of them and putting it in your mouth and uh, trying to bite down on everyone except the banana. Yeah. Only because it kills your teeth. But yeah, I mean, that's just like a, a flavor explosion of oak and fruit. and Yeah, there's and, and then stuff. it's almost like a, it's opening up to like a tobacco and like charcoal kind of Smoky flavors that uh, I kind of get, and not that I chew on leather, but you know, it's <laughs> you just gnaw on it from time to just time. Just gnaw on it, but I'm envisioning like being in a barn with, like, I just rode horses and I, I kind of remember like the smell and taste, like the air of the, you know, just being on a horse or something. Not, you know, is it the manure also coming? From <laughs> not the, the manure, no. The person in the front of you. <laughs> it's for my saddle, maybe. Maybe it's my sweat saddle. I don't know, but no, this is very good. So. Yeah, and it's surprisingly, uh, surprisingly very short finish, right? No, I'm just yeah. kidding. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's the like, exact opposite of that. <laughs> so let's yeah, go it's, ahead. And it's still read. going. A little ting. I uh, know. Uh, so the nose, I'm going to rate this one. Thumbs up. Uh, I like it. I agree. Lot. And the taste? Thumbs up. I like it. And the finish? I'm going to go thumbs up. Yeah. It's a little, I mean, an amateur palate would probably be like, oh, oh my I God. I can't <laughs> deal with it. Uh, you might get heartburn from this, or but uh, yeah, it's it's really good. It's rich, complex, and it's very long lasting. I could only probably have a half ounce of this, but uh, it'll be a really good half ounce. That's the reason why they come in three seventy fives, yeah, and not full seven hundreds or seven fifties. Yep. So. Don't make your old fashioned with these. It'd be scary. Probably <laughs> not. Plus, I mean, it's so dang good. Like I, I've just never had anything that felt like this dense before. Like I said, yeah. the Old Forester uh, Angel Share was probably the the closest that I had to this, but. 
still fantastic. I guess there is something to say about having these high angel share yields where or barrels that only yield like a you know handful, maybe twenty bottles out of it yeah. or something like that, and batching together. This is this is what you get. The angels left us the good stuff. Yes, just a little bit, but that's fine. So that is our release of Jack Daniels small batch Koi Hill high proof release. That's it. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.